So last night, epic, a marathon. We're talking 18 innings, and it took a long time, guys, seven hours and 20 minutes. Now, the good news is for the fans, we had a time-lapse camera in our control room while we were watching, and we saw you guys go through the process and actually <laughs> age uh, as this occurred, okay? So uh, the growth, uh, the facial growth, the age, there you go. We got a little old. I look like Isaac. That's what it felt like, though. What to do? That was a long one. Frank, you look like Santa Claus. Right? Yeah. You guys have actually all played in 19-inning games, right? That's a long, seven hours. 20 minutes a long time to be on your feet. I look like Bill Russell, but yeah. You do, Seth. You do. You know, Poppy and I were, in 2015, we were in a 19-inning ball game, and I can tell you, you wake up, you can't feel any part of your body. It'll be interesting how both teams recover today. And remember, don't forget it was a lot of 0 for 5, 0 for 6, 0 for 7 last night. Sometimes the mind play a big role in the next day. I mean, I know this is the worst series, and you bat it, and, and you come in with a positive vibe, but that can play a big role in, the, in today's game. I just think uh, I played 19 in the game, too. The next day, we were all so lethargic. We had better at bat. So tonight, hopefully you'll see more comfortable hitters at the plate because they're much more relaxed. Uh, 18 innings, most ever in a World Series game. Seven hours, 20 minutes, longest in postseason history. 46 players used, including 18 pitchers. 34 strikeouts. Ooh. Alex Cora said it was the best game he's ever been a part of. All right, so look, the Red Sox are, are up in the series two games to one, but Frank, it was moments away from being 3-0, so the, the feeling has changed. I think the Red Sox are in a little trouble now. I think the feeling to has totally changed. We left Boston. We thought this series could possibly be over, but now an 18 in a marathon, compromised the Boston bullpen. Anything could happen today, and the Dodgers win today. We got ourselves a new World Series. And look, it can turn very quickly. You can make an argument that Bradley's home run, tying home run in the eighth, was the best thing to happen to the Dodgers because it eliminates the most important player for the Red Sox, and that's Divaldi, who's not available for game four or five. In, 03, in 04, you guys were up, oh, we were up uh, 03. You guys won one, and of course, we never recovered. You haven't recovered, bro? It's been 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you, it's all about momentum. We're about to find out tonight if the Red Sox are, have recovered from Kingsley error and also they don't count with Ubaldi and either the closer, Kimball. Right. So, it, um, Alex Cora has to play the cards really well in tonight's game because his bullpen is also wear out. And I think that's an interesting point because consider this, Poppy, the whole postseason, guys, he's used starters very successfully late in games. Well, now Price is out. Avaldi is out. Porcello started. He's out. Probably those guys are out for the next two games. So that really affects things for them. KB, that's a great point. And we talked about Alex having the Midas touch. Part of that Midas touch has been to use starters as conventional in the bullpen. So he won't have that tonight. It'll be interesting. He'll maybe pull out Mike Timlin from the bullpen from back <laughs> in the day. Frank, I don't know what he's going to do. But that's a great point. Yeah, someone's got to step up. It'll be very interesting to see how Cora manages this. By the way, Pomerantz has not pitched. He's on the roster expecting to get a lot of time. Another lefty uh, for the Red Sox here.